I'm John, I'm from Talkbox, um, and I'm going to talk a little bit about um, uh, what Talkbox, uh, what we do, uh, and uh, why we're really excited about WebRTC, and then give you a demo of our API, and uh, hopefully help you guys find a way of um, how you can make something really cool this weekend. So, uh, so I'm with Talkbox. Um, we've been around for about uh, five and a half years, since uh, 2007. And we started out as, as basically Skype in the browser. So we were one of the first people to do video chat in the browser. And after a couple years of doing this, uh, one of the things that we realized and we were playing around with is we put, um, we put YouTube videos inside our video chat um, experience. And one of the things that made us realize is that when you pair video chat with content and kind of when you give it a purpose, um, the engagement and, and, and the way people use video chat is, is just really transformed and it actually gives it purpose and meaning. Um, so after kind of realizing this, um, back in about 2010, um, we decided to switch and move and, and focus completely on an API to allow people um, to build experiences using video chat um, that have purpose and context and meeting. Um, so since we've done this, um, we've, we've seen a lot of amazing examples of, of people using video chat in really creative ways. Um, we've worked with uh, NBC and the Amazing Race um, building online game shows. Uh, we work with Doritos and Diet Coke um, building brand campaigns. Um, we work with a company called, um, oh gosh, I forgot their name, but they do, uh, they do AA groups online. So really meaningful um, uses of video chat. Um, people that do online rap battles. Um, there's another site called Wello that does uh, online fitness training through video chat. Um, so we've seen a lot of really creative uses of video chat. Um, and uh, up until about a couple months ago, um, our API was Flash-based. Um, and uh, while people were still able to create a lot of really nice experiences, um, Flash causes us a lot of headaches. Um, the, as I'm sure a lot of people are aware, um, it crashes a lot, it, it doesn't have great quality, it's kind of a crappy user experience, it requires uh, a download. Um, so it's kind of caused a lot of headaches. So we're really excited about WebRTC um, because I, I'm assuming, as we all know here, it's an emerging standard um, for doing real-time communication, which includes video chat. Um, and with this comes a lot better user experience. Um, it's going to work across devices. Uh, it'll be natively supported in the browser. Um, and, and it'll give us a lot more control over, over the quality. Um, so we're very excited about WebRTC. Um, and I will show you our, our API that, that kind of it wraps WebRTC. So WebRTC is great, and it's a standard, and we're very excited about it. Um, but it's really just a primitive, or it's, it's a tool, um, or, or, or just one piece of the puzzle. And so what our API does, it, it kind of wraps this and gives you the other pieces you need in order um, to, build, to build video chat. So what we want to do is make, make, make it device agnostic and give you the tools that you need to do um, session initiation, connecting people together, um, do signaling and messaging. Uh, do multi-party support, um, do bandwidth detection and bitrate optimization. Um, so all these things are things that we package into the API um, that are built on top of WebRTC to make better experiences. Um, so with that said, uh, I'll, I'll give you a little bit of a demo of, of, of how the API works. So I assume most of here, uh, us here are technical, um, and I kind of want to show you um, who here is familiar with the WebRTC APIs and peer connection. And Okay, so, so I'll, I'll show you um, how it works in, in both JavaScript and um, iOS um, to give you a sense of, of, of how easy it really is to, to add this in. So uh, let's see. So I'm just going to walk through the code and, 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 and give you an idea. So, um, so at the top here, this is my, this is my JavaScript file. And, and basically what this is going to do is just going to set up a very basic group video chat here. Um, so at the top here, I initialize three variables. So this is an API key. This is something we give you. This is a session ID. This is something that's typically generated on your server and passed down to your client. I hard-coded it here. But think of a session ID as a room. Okay, So you can have lots of different rooms going on, and a session ID is just an identifier for that room. This third variable here is a token. So this is a key to get into a room. And this key can specify permissions. Again, this is generated on your server, so you can specify permiss permissions, whether this is someone that can just watch, this is someone that can participate and publish, or this is someone that can be a moderator um, and, and, and kick people off. So this token is what specifies that. Um, it can also say things about connection data, so you can encode user data in this token as well. Um, so in these lines right here, uh, basically I'm going to initialize a session object and then set up so, some event listeners. So a session again is a room, and then I'm going to set up these event listeners to get information about that room. This first one here 
is a session connected event. So this is the event that's going to get called back after I connect to the session. And then stream created event, this is an event that's going to get called back anytime someone publishes a new stream to the session, in which case you want to listen for that and react to it in some way. So uh, in this, this is my session connected handler. And basically what I, what I want to do here is when I connect to the session, I immediately just want to publish my video stream. Again, you can, you can put whatever logic here um, in this handler, uh, depending on your application. But in my application, I'm just going to publish the video stream right away. OK? So if we look at that, uh, at this code in the browser, Uh, it's basically just going to load. It's going to give me the WebRTC dialog, which is much, much nicer than the Flash dialog. Uh, I'm going to hit allow, and it's basically just going to publish a video stream. OK, so here's proof that I'm actually publishing a video stream. Um, but how do we actually see this on the other end, and how do we communicate with someone else? OK? Um, so to show you this, I'm actually going to walk through the iOS code. Uh, and I'm going to show you an interop example here. So again, the similar logic applies here. I have my API key, my session, and my token. Uh, in my Objective-C code, I'm going to initialize a, a session. Um, and then uh, I set up, uh, as soon as my, my view loads, uh, I'm going to connect to the session, OK? Um, and again, I just want to publish a stream. So what's going to happen here is, as soon as the view loads, I want to connect to the session. When I connect to the session, I get this delegate. And then it's going to say do publish, which calls this method. And in this case, again, I'm just going to publish right away as soon as I, as soon as I connect to the session. Okay? And then lastly, uh, how do you subscribe to people? How do you see these, these video streams? Um, so there's another delegate method down here um, called did receive stream. Okay, so when someone publishes a set, uh, stream to the session, um, you're going to get this delegate. You'll get a similar, you got the stream created one in the JavaScript. Um, and then here I just say, OK, if, if this is not my own stream, subscribe to it. OK? So I'm going to run this code in my iPhone. And hopefully we see a video stream. OK, so there we see a video stream. Again, it's publishing. But we want to see a subscriber. So I have hard coded the same session ID in both my JavaScript and uh, Objective C code. And I'm going to pull that up here. And we're going to see the stream from the iPhone on there, and then the stream from JavaScript on here. Cool. So, and th this was accomplished literally in about 35 lines of code each in, in JavaScript and iOS. Um, and this is a big abstraction over, over um, WebRTC. There's very little server side code involved here, um, and really simplifies the process. So uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't have a lot of swag for you guys this weekend. I do have some sunglasses I'll, I'll give out. Um, <laughs> but uh, other than that, if you guys want help, <laughs> yeah. uh, if you guys want help building your app, I'm, I'll, I'll be around all day. So, cool. Thank you.